Good day, folks. Kikoskia here. Let's continue to play Albion. Joe is not with us. I did not feel like I needed him. We'll see how we do without Joe. Of course, if I can't do it without Joe, then this could be difficult. I have to get to where the man said have to get to that little... I'm feeling strange again. If only we had bought that stuff in a Marja Kanta, it would probably help us now. Oh, shut up. What stuff? Oh, is he referring to the, um... Is he sick? Straight south. I'm probably making a huge mistake not spending hours and hours and hours training up all of my characters, but I don't care. I just want to get through this game. Finish it for you all. Now, still going south. It's just down here. So far, so good. Let's try to creep up on the Toronto while it's dark. Avoiding the work machines and evac excavations, the companions actually reached the Toronto unnoticed. Tom succeeds in opening a side entrance without triggering an alarm. He closes the hatch as soon as everyone's inside. Here we are. <laughs> Done! Now let's find a console where we can enter our documentation concerning Albion. That will cause some trouble on board. I like how no one is reacting to the fact that we are in... There is a sketch of this area than that console over there. At the end of the L-shaped section in the west, there should be an access to the service level. That's our destination. What's this? It doesn't tell us. It's not important then. I wonder if he has something to say. No, and we're not telling him to leave now. Well, we're in the Toronto. Let's save. In the to the Toronto. No, the Toronto. Everything is quiet. We don't seem to have triggered an alarm. Hmm. Yeah, everything is quiet. Can we? This door is locked. The door doesn't lead to our destination anyway. Let's go on. Okay. Guess we have to go into. Ooh, what's this? A control panel. What do you have to say about this, uh. Nope! <laughs> you haven't been discovered yet. Hopefully, everything will continue to run smoothly. Why do you keep saying that, Tom? The more you talk about this sort of stuff, the more likely we're going to get discovered. doesn't lead to our destination anyway. Blah, blah, blah. What's this? It's blank. Still no alarm. Almost too good to be true. It's a special screwdriver. There's no space left. Duh. We 
don't really need that anymore. Hmm. Maybe we should have trained up his, uh, ranged. No matter. I think this dramatically improves it anyway. Yeah, 80 out of 70. We need all these bullets. Because, yeah, it's now the most powerful thing we can currently have. Gun. Let's drop all these. I don't know who I gave the gaze of Kamuros to. Who did I give the gaze of Kamuros to? Sicily Hobart did not just throw it away. I gave the gaze of Kamuros to Thanag. Hand that back. Uh, you hold on to that for me. We shall take the special screwdriver. And I will try and find... I mean, we can't rest here. <laughs> Well, this ah! In that niche over there is a console that will give us access to the communications network. Let's manipulate it. Okay. I'm trying to input Joe's documentation concerning Albion into the onboard network. After this, I'm sure we'll have the AI and the security forces down our backs. Be prepared for a tough fight. Tom inserts the data tape with a recording of the life on this world into the console and uses the chip go get Joe gave him to prevent the AI from interfering for as long as possible. That's it! The documentation is going out on all video screens and loudspeakers of the Toronto starting now! The playback the recording uses Joe's voice suddenly comes from a loudspeaker to the crew of the entire Toronto installation. These are recordings which will be entered into the onboard system against the will of the ship's command. They document that there is highly developed life and even civilizations of intelligent life forms on this planet. We, Tom Driscoll, Joe Bernard, and a group of natives from the planet have entered the Toronto. Everyone is urgently requested to leave the ship. We've decided to take all necessary measures to prevent the Toronto from destroying this world. The ship's command will try to interrupt this transmission ahead of time. Now hear and see what really looks like on this planet. The documentary runs, uninterrupted so far, and shows scenes of the nature and inhabitants of Albion. An alarm siren mixes with Joy's loudspeaker voice. Oh, bugger. There are the terrorists! Terrorists? The security forces attack! Oh, goody. Bring it! Securo 1 and Securo 2. I dare say that the gaze of Kamulos is probably better. For now. Right. Let's hack him to pieces. I'm gonna have some fun here. Ooh, thunderstorm, I think, and uh, frost crystal. You move back there. Oh, they're firing at us. Ow! Ow! My god, they're ugly. This is going to be difficult. I don't think they were expecting any of you tried to taser me. That was almost comedic in its hilarity. I'm gonna have some fun. Fire this stupid pistol at me. Yeah, go on, taser me. Like, that's really gonna work. Smack. These aren't too difficult. They're fast. Their guns are a little nasty, but their tasers certainly aren't. Alright, enough messing around. Let's observe. They're still not active. I need you to fireball this one. And I need you to attack him. And I need you to frost splinter this one. I don't want him... Ow! Stop it! 